Today we continue the um, theme this week about uh, discipleship. Today the gospel also talks about commissioning of the apostles that were sent to proclaim the good news of salvation. Commissioning of the disciples to teach people wherever they go to proclaim the good news of salvation. And the Lord commissioned his disciples in a two-fold commission. First was to speak in his name. And the second is to act with his power. The disciples were asked to proclaim the kingdom of God wherever they go. That God's kingdom is at hand. That it is imminent. One day, our Lord Jesus Christ will return. In the Lord's Prayer, we pray for God to reign in our lives, in our community, in our country. When we said, may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The second one, the second thing is, Lord commissioned his disciples to carry out, to carry on the works that he started. That is to bring healing. There is a lot of our brothers and sisters who are uh, sick. And a lot of, uh, of our prisoners and friends asking for mercy and healing. Especially to uh, Arthur uh, Papilia and also to Shane, to Leonora, uh, and many other, a lot of uh, friends that are asking for our prayers, asking for healing. God's um, power, um, or we pray that uh, God will bring his healing power to those who are weary. So today we are once again reminded of God's power and mercy and love. We are asked to believe in the gospel, to set us free from all these uh, sinful desires, also from fear, from oppression, and sickness. And sickness is not only physical, but also spiritual. So we pray for spiritual, emotional, and physical sickness. When we believe in the good news of salvation, we live in the gospel, the Lord will also set us free from anything that keeps us from approaching Him, from loving Him. And we are once again reminded also that freely we receive the grace of God. Many blessings that we receive from him. And so we will also share it, these blessings to others, to all those that are also in need. We are all God's instruments. We are all his hands and feet and eyes. And so whatever we receive in this world, freely we receive, freely we share it also to all those that we encounter in this life, to those who are in need. We are all God's instruments of his mercy and love. We are his feet and hands to continue the works that he started when he was with us. 
Therefore, what we have received from God must be shared it also to others without expecting a favor or expecting something in return. We must do our work not for what we get from it, but for what we can give or what we can share freely to others. Remember, we are all workers in God's vineyard. And we must not be overly concerned with so much material things in this world. For one day, when God calls us, we will leave everything behind. Do not be too concerned with too many material things in life. God did not just say that we cannot enjoy this life. God wants us to be joyful and happy people. But we be responsible also. That we be kind to those that we encounter in this life. God will provide us of our needs when we truly rely on Him. Just like the disciples as they go to places to preach the good news of salvation, God provided them of their needs. And they were asked not to bring so many things in when they travel. They were asked only to bring one pair of tunic, sandals, and other things that uh, they need. And for other things, God provided them through the community that um, to wherever they go. And so as we continue our celebration, we pray that may the Lord help us to witness the truth and joy of the gospel by word and deeds, by example to all those that is close to us, family and friends and neighbors. And that may God grant that we may also help spread the good news of salvation wherever we go.